Okay, hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you something that I think should be fairly easy to do, but when I tried to do it for the first time, I found it quite challenging. There's just no tutorials and no information that work. And that is build an AWJ Azure project to a executable job file. So I've got a working project here that's been the project I've been working on for the past month or so, I think I've run it out on. Yeah, and sure if you've seen any of my videos this should be fairly simil familiar to you and yes so let's build it so up here well first of all it's a working project there's no bugs it's working great and up here you see this little button it's uh, between a build shortcuts shift f11 yes if you're into shortcuts and that kind of stuff and yeah <laughs> so first screen you build it so you just click on that just lock this up here so you can see what's happening and if you look here it is build successful now if you navigate to its um, project folder you see that there's this disk thing disk folder and it's inside of it it's got the jar file and all the libraries are in it <laughs> java application 36 underscore three dot and it's very very easy you can run it like this okay so if you're running a Ubuntu, which I am with any Linux-based thing, operating system, or even some Linux server, then you may get some permission errors and it'll have this little lock symbol next to it. Now, it's fairly simple to overcome that. It's sudo chmod-r, capital R, 7.7, and the folder you want. And yep, there we go. Now, what this does is, you can see it's removed the little lock there, and it's completely changed the permissions of the file to anyone can create, edit, and delete me. I am the fall of builders. Okay, now from there, the jar file still won't run. It will just, there's no reason to do it. If you go into the terminal, let's just call it that. will just say I could not find or load main class of Java application 36 underscore 3D while it is in my folder. Okay, now to get it to work, you need to use this program called the Jarsplots, which is a great program on some of my desktop. And my desktop is an absolute mess. There will be a link in the description to download it. And it, yes, it's a very nice program. <laughs> okay, all to do is this is what it looks like. There's an introduction if you're into reading and stuff. But yeah, it's not that much to it. Okay, so firstly you need to add all your jar files. This is both the conf jar files you just built and cleaned, as well as all library files. So navigate it, um, navigate to my thing, go to the disk thing, add Java application 36.4.d, wow, and lib, I'm just using LWJGL. Now, if you work for LWJ, if you've done any work with LWJGL, you need to you know that you need to add natives, and that's the same in your builder. And what I've done for simplicity with all my projects is I just have this folder called natives, where I've stuck all the natives for all the operating systems in, and just add all of them. Probably not the best thing to do again, but it works. Now, main class. The error that it gave us here is it could not find the natives. And right now my main class is in a, my default package in a jar, Java file called name. Remember, like the sole purpose of this jar is just to hold the name up. And type in main. And finally, create back jar file. Not a thin jar file. <laughs> Bad joke. Create, and let's just stick it on its top. Uh, let's name it text. No, teat. Teat it is. Yes, it's good to Fat jar file created, successfully created. Let's look for it now. Wow, oh, I should probably not have that open. Oops. Uh, where is it? Teat. So we're going to add it now. If you try and open it, it'll give you dismissed. Uh, if you're running a Linux-based operating system, you might have permission errors, and it will just want you to make the file executable. Now to do that, right click, properties, permissions, allow execution of this program, and from there, it shall run. Cool, thank you all for watching, let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, I'll try and put a bit more effort into these videos if I do any more, like, 
you know, yeah, well, thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave. I would love to get some feedback. Cool. Until next time, goodbye.